guys, welcome to my video. Is your no, I think I should Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my video. It's your girl Agasha from the 256, your East African girl here to bring you positive vibes. As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a video on the do's and don'ts on basically how to um, interact with people in a wheelchair. So I'm just gonna be literally telling you how we like it did and done and some of the things we'd rather are not done. But yeah. <laughs> um, but before I get into that video, I would like to encourage you guys to comment, like, and subscribe and to tell a friend to tell a friend even if you need to pause. <laughs> and to hit that notification bell so that YouTube can let you know when I post. So, whoa, I know there's some people here who are new to my channel and they're probably like, why is she talking about wheelchairs and etiquette and whatnot? Well, my name is Agasha for those who are new and I am a spinal cord and I have a spinal cord injury due to a tumor. And because of that, I use a wheelchair, you know, get a muscle runs, whatever. Yes, I am not able to stand up or walk, so this is kind of how I get around and keep, you know, keep on moving. But yeah, I personally do not really find this as irritating as it used to be for me. But the reason why this is kind of a big deal or probably should be, you should think twice before just leaning on someone's chair is one, I'm the type of person who actually doesn't put brakes on my chair all the time. So I can just stop and yeah, so if you decide to lean on my chair and then you end up pushing me, then there's that situation. Or the fact that when you do have a spinal cord injury, my core is actually like jello. But for the most part, I mostly stabilize myself with my hands. So if I am um, like holding my phone and holding something else and then you come and I lean forward and my hands are both busy, then some, something's gonna be sacrificed. So it's better to just ask someone if they can, if you can touch their chair so that they are prepared or generally to just don't. On to my second do's and don'ts is, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh my gosh, sorry. Oh, sorry, that was my problem. No, it was mine. I rolled over your feet. I'm. It's okay for the responsibility to be mine. It's okay, you don't always have to take responsibility for things that are actually my mistake, okay? Um, and on to my third point. This normally happens when I'm with my mom or I'm with my sister or like sometimes even with my friends. And this thing of talking through that person to me, oh my gosh, tell your child that she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, tell your child that she should come see what's in my store. Oh my gosh, tell her that, you know, like come and talk to me. It's okay to come and talk to me. I know I look different from you. I know I may get around different from you, but trust me, if you talk to me, I will respond. I know it can sometimes be intimidating to interact with someone else that is different from you, but please try and do it. Because if you talk to through someone else, it just really alienates that person from the conversation. And it's just, it's not necessary. And so my other point on my do's and don't list is the, What's wrong with you? That's one I particularly took a long time to get over. Um, it doesn't bother me so much now because I've gotten used to it, but I just really think that it's something that needs to not, to not be there. Regardless of whether you're in a wheelchair or you have another physical ability, we don't like that question because why are you asking me what's wrong with me because when you do that i'm like oh is there something wrong with my hair is there like you know like lipstick smudges on my face it's like that can honestly mean anything and it honestly just gives a negative connotation to me there is nothing wrong with me i yes i use a wheelchair yes i am unable to walk currently but um there's nothing wrong with me a way that could that is more positive in asking if you want to know my story and you want to know what's why I'm in a wheelchair, is literally just asking, what is your story, or why are you using a wheelchair, or whatever device that person may be using. And with that being said, also be careful when you ask this question. Um, 
if I'm on a bus or I'm literally or I literally look like I'm rushing somewhere and you ask me what my story is or why I'm in a wheelchair I'm going to obviously be a, a lot more caught off guard and probably won't be able to answer it in the nicest way ever so I'll probably ask when it looks like I have more time and also generally you're gonna get a better answer if you've talked to the person first so come approach me like a normal approach me and talk to me about something normal build that relationship first before just asking you know that question honestly i'm a lot more open to it now you can honestly ask me as you're passing me and i'll try my best to answer it in you know five seconds but there's some people who it is really hard to talk about what they've been through and they're honestly just trying to get through the day without even thinking about it so be respectful and if you've asked and the person does not want to talk about it they don't have to talk about it and they're not rude for not wanting to talk about it they're entitled to whatever truth they want to give you and if they don't want to tell their story right now they do not and next on my list is insisting on help <laughs> um if you off, if you ask somebody in a wheelchair if they need help and they do not need help, please accept their answer and keep it pushing. Like there are a lot of things that I do, and I saw this off someone else's channel, and I agree with it totally, 100%. There are a lot of things that I do, or that people in wheelchairs do, that looks like a struggle, that looks hard. Like to me, I I do it on an everyday basis, so it's something that I'm used to. But however much I'm used to it, it's still going to look hard to you. So if you ask me, Bob, I will truly actually be able to handle my own self. And once I say no, don't say, oh, no, it's really not a problem. I'm not scared to accept your help. I'm really not. I just, I'm just saying that I got this, but thank you very much for offering. I was careful about adding this in this video because I don't want this to be confused with not being observant and kind to people because there are certain people that are afraid to ask for help. There are certain people that don't know how to ask for help. So with that, I'm not gonna say, don't ask people if they need help. I'm gonna say, ask people if they need help because some people do wanna just scared on how to accept it, but be respectful of the answer you get. If it's a no, don't insist. Just let it be and keep it pushing as will I. Lastly on my list is, um, this one's gonna need a demonstration because you know, I just feel like moving. Walking towards me and I'm coming towards you. Yes, that's what I mean. And I'm pushing, 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 pushing. And then you get off the curb or you walk like a mile away to give me space to move. No, we don't like that. <laughs> For one, that's one of the things on this list that I think needs to be left. It needs to be left in the past, does not need to follow us where we're going. I understand how in your mind, how in someone's mind that might look like it is polite or like you're respecting someone's space. But especially when you move out of the way, like literally a mile away, like seriously, like seriously, <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> nah, like, um, it's just, it just makes the person feel more alienated. Like, oh, why are they moving? Oh, I'm in a, oh, darn it. We're in a wheelchair. We're in a wheelchair. Like, but that actually brings me to another point. Um, when you are helping someone in a wheelchair, open the door and let's say this is the door of how am I gonna explain this? This is the door. Don't stand, don't don't hold the door open and then make room for them to pass and expect them to pass under your arm. Like a lot of people do this in a rush because you know, like when you when they open the door for you, it's like, you know, like we all we all go into spastic mode, like, oh my gosh, what is going on? How are we gonna handle this? Yo, most of us are adults, you should be able to know. So when I say no, you go first. I literally mean go first because I don't want to run over your nice shoes and I also don't want to be trying to struggle to go under your arm. So some of you try to tell us to people in wheelchairs to go first because you think it's being polite, which it is. Thank you for thinking about that. But at the same time, you have just reduced the amount of space in the doorway by standing in the doorway and trying to hold your hand there. So it's often easier for someone to go first, go through the door first and then hold the door open on the other side so that you know it's smoother so you know that's a little tip for me you know i keep you guys informed or whatever i just want to keep it short and sweet hopefully it's a short and sweet I'm trying to look at the time <laughs> but anyways yeah so base i just want to let you guys know that if you have done any of these things 
please don't feel like I'm judging you. There is honestly no judgment here and I and it's one of the reasons why this channel is so important to me because I'm able to have a platform to express some of the things that um, impact me um, and other people in the wheelchair community. And um, yeah, so if there are any people that use a wheelchair that agree with what I said, please leave a like button. And if there's anything else that I did not include in this video, comment that down below and I'll check that out to see if I do experience the same thing. And hopefully that will help somebody else out that ends up going down in our comments. So yeah, so before I end out this video, I just want to leave you guys with the main point of ask. I've given all these do's and don'ts of, of, of being around people in a wheelchair, but these are based off my experiences and my experience does not, is not the same as, as any other person that is in a wheelchair. It's a starting point. You kind of now have more of an idea and you'll probably think about it more, but basically just ask because everybody is different and respect the answer that you get back. So without further ado, you guys are fearfully and wonderfully made and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let anything tell you otherwise. And I will see you in the next video.